In this video we will create forces and motion. We start with the definition of a contact force between jack and wheel. This contact force is included to restrain the wheel from moving off the jacks. Right click on the force icon to create a force. Create force between wheel and front jack. Change force type to, action, reaction force. Select front wheel as, body 1 and front jack as, body 2. As point 1 select, front jack top point. This is the force application point. Go to translational properties and change FX to expression. Some more information about the buy stop function and the parameters we need to define is shown here. You may need to pause the video to read it carefully if you are new to this function. Enter the bi stop function as shown. The bi stop function models a gap element. Next, you need to type in the values for the lower and upper bound for the independent variable, which is the stiffness of the boundary surface interaction, the exponent of the force deformation characteristic. For a stiffening spring characteristic, its value must be greater than 1.0 and for a softening spring characteristic, it must be less than 1.0. The maximum damping coefficient and a value for the penetration at which the full damping coefficient is applied. Here the values as shown are employed.
According to the equation, if the wheel moves 0.1 units from its original position, an artificial force will be applied based on the stiffness, damping and stiffness exponent values specified to keep the wheel at its original position. We now repeat pretty much the same steps for the rear jack and rear wheel. Now the contact forces between front wheel and front jack, and rear wheel and rear jack are defined by means of a bi-stop function. Next we are going to define motions. The first motion will be applied to the front jack to impose a vertical motion.
Select the front jack to ground, translational joint. Now we define the motion for the rear jack. Go to Properties and change Input Type to Expression. And finally, we are adding a motion to the front fork in order to prevent any rotations. As you would expect, the value 0 prohibits any rotation.